Esteemed guests, welcome to the National Guard Bureau's inaugural annual awards recognition ceremony. The hosts for today's ceremony are General Daniel Hokinson, Chief of the National Guard Bureau, and Tony Whitehead, Senior Enlisted Advisor. To help recognize the importance of this ceremony, we are joined today by our distinguished guests. Please hold all applause until introductions are completed. Command Sergeant Major John Raines, Sergeant Major of the Army National Guard. Major General jo Giselle Wills, National Guard Bureau Director of Joint Staff. CW5 Brian Searcy, Command Chief Warrant Officer, Army National Guard. We would also like to welcome all general officers, senior executive service members, directors, senior enlisted leaders, and all other guests in attendance today. Please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem by Captain Julian Green in the invocation given by Chaplain Colonel David Johnson. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave We continue our time together with a word of prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for this day of celebration, a day where we can honor our National Guard members, military and civilian, for their work, their hard work, their dedicated service, and their many accomplishments while serving this great nation. Today, we thank you for all award nominees, and we ask your blessing on them as they serve in this unique and important calling. We are also thankful for all members of Guard Nation who day by day excel in their work. May their accomplishments and those we honor today inspire us on to, to meet the challenges and the opportunities in the days ahead. Give us, we pray, the wisdom, the strength, the guidance to serve in the many ways that you've called us to serve. May this ceremony also be a reminder to each of us that excellence in life takes time and effort, often going the second mile and it absolutely takes the support of others. It takes a team. With this in mind, we pray for the families, the friends, the coworkers of these award nominees for their service and their support. We give you thanks. Finally, Lord, we'd be remiss if we did not remember in our prayer today, our brothers and sisters in arms serving all around the world at this very moment on land, on sea, and in the air, keeping watch for us protect all military members on mission and bring them home safe. We also pray for their families during this time apart that you provide for them with all that they need. 
Thank you again for all who have gathered here to honor these National Guard team members today. Bless our time together. In your holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Captain Green and Chaplain Johnson. Esteemed guests, please be seated. At this time, we would like to invite our hosts for today's recognition ceremony, General Daniel Hokinson and Senior Enlisted Advisor Tony Whitehead to please come forward for remarks. Good morning. Good morning. Are you awake? Good morning. This is a great day. Wow. All right. All right. Now, are, are, do I have to stand over here? Cause, you, anywhere you want. Okay. okay. I just want to make sure we're recording it. Uh, General Hokinson, our directors, my battle buddies, our Major Reigns, our distinguished guests, Definitely our, our nominee. Hey, you look familiar. Yeah. All right, I'm back. <laughs> our nominees and definitely the winners, and most importantly, those who are here to support them, their family members, if you're here, we appreciate you being here. And I know the boss and I, uh, we really, really rally around the support system for all of our men and women that serve in uniform. And this is a great example of what it looks like when uh, we show up to support those who are getting the job done. All right, how about today, real quickly? Uh, you know, with all the transition that's taking place, I think one of the best things to do is to get back to the center. And to get back to center is thinking about the men and women that are getting the job done on a day-to-day -day basis. We're all the best, but to get the opportunity to recognize the best of the best is what we do best here in uh, the National Guard Ready, I should say the Readiness Center, but in our joint staff and up here at NGB. And so today is about that. It's about recognizing some great work from some great Americans. Uh, and I, I would just say quickly that I cannot say thank you enough to each and every one of you for what you have done over these four years. But this is not a retirement speech, this is about today's awardees and the nominees. So thank you for letting us know that you are giving your best every single day. And again, in the midst of all this transition, this is a perfect example of what we do. We steer the ship moving forward. Cool? Cool. My army's still in me, all right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chief of National Guard, Bureau of Journals. I had hit most of it. Um, just the thing I want to say is for the family members here today um, that I had a chance to see this. This is really the culmination. This is actually the first time we've done this where we've taken our quarterly awards winners and really put in an annual award winner. And as SEA said, the great thing about this is, you know, there is tons of work that goes on in this organization that allows us to have such a huge impact on the 54 states, territories, um, and D.C. And we know when a lot of the information gets up to our level, it took an incredible amount of work and effort by the entire team to get there. But when it does get there, it has a huge impact. And we've been able over the past four years, and frankly, after the past almost 400 years, really made a difference in the capability of our guardsmen to respond to anything that happens in their community, in their state, and also internationally. Not only in terms of deployments, but also our state partnership program. And so today is a great chance to recognize really the stellar performers that represent the entire organization. I mean, everybody here is absolutely important to our ability to get their job done. But today's one of the duties we get to recognize those folks that really kind of went above and beyond and really did a lot of work recognized by their peers, their subordinates, and their superiors. And through the process of, of the team taking a look at everybody is to identify those people. And so, I see Whitehead and I are super excited to recognize you today. And so uh, let's get to it. All right. Thank you, General Hokinson and SEA Whitehead. Uh, would both of you please come onto the stage here for the awards presentations? This next portion recognizes the military and civilian members of the National Guard Bureau who have excelled amongst their peers for the calendar year 2023. This morning culminates the selection process that began within the duty section throughout respective divisions and directorates. All of the award nominees should be very proud of their hard work and accomplishments. The nomination and selection process for the National Guard Bureau annual awards was based on exceptional leadership, outstanding job performance, and professional and personal excellence. Nominees, as your name is announced, please come forward and join General Hokinson and SEA Whitehead on stage. And now, the nominees for non-commissioned officer of the year are Staff Sergeant Peter DePolido, Staff Sergeant Matthew Jessel, 
Staff Sergeant Andrew Worley. And finally, Technical Sergeant Dana Sikosh. Thank you. Will the nominees please be seated? Thank you. And the non-commissioned officer of the year is Technical Sergeant Dana Sikosh. Nominees for Senior Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year are Master Sergeant Amina Goldshack, who unfortunately was unable to t attend today's ceremony, and Senior Master Sergeant Sarah Madison. Thank you. Will the nominees please be seated? And the Senior Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year is Master Sergeant Amina Goldshack. Accepting on her behalf is her supervisor, Karanda Evans. The nominees for company grade officers of the year are Captain Jamie Dumproff, Captain Kyle Joyce, and finally Captain Jonathan Lewis. Thank you. Will the nominees please be seated? And the company grade officer of the year is Captain Kyle Joyce. for field grade officers of the year are Chief Warrant Officer 3, Carl Garrett, Lieutenant Colonel Derek Burns, and finally Lieutenant Colonel Adam Barasa. And the field grade officer of the year is 
Lieutenant Colonel Derek Burks. Nominees for civilian junior category GS 12 and below of the year are Ms. Bethany Harris and Mr. John Archield. And the civilian junior category of the year is Mr. John Archield. Nominees for civilian senior category, GS 13 and above of the year are Ms. Vinette Wallace, Mr. Kurt Hurst, and Ms. Francesca Torino. And the civilian senior category of the year winner is Ms. Vinette Wallace. At this time, will all the award winners please come forward to join General Hokinson and SCA Whitehead on stage for a group photo? Yeah. Bring your eagles. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a smile out of Burks yet. <laughs> I'm just going to walk off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, three, one, two, three. Thank you to all of our nominees and award winners today. This concludes today's ceremony. Please stand for the departure of the official party. Thank you for attending and we wish you that you have a wonderful day.